All right, if you guys could please turn to the first page of your notes. It's a page that looks like this. We're just going to go over some vocab terms to start. Undefined term. An undefined term is a word without a formal definition. There we go. The words point, line, and plane, these are all technically undefined terms. They don't have a formal definition, but when you say them, everyone kind of has an idea of what they mean. All right. A point is a, a point has no dimension. It's represented usually by a dot. So for example, this would be point A. There's a dot and there's a label next to it. All right, a line, a line has one dimension. It's represented by a line with two arrowheads. I'll draw that for you guys. So this would be an example of a line. You could call this either line L, I drew the L in cursive, or you could call it line AB or line BA, either way. These arrows signify that this line continues on and on and on forever in both directions. So even though my line is only a couple inches long, technically this line is supposed to continue on infinitely in both directions. That's what the arrows mean. Okay. All right, a plane. A plane has two dimensions. It is represented by a shape, looks kind of like a floor or a wall. Okay, this would be an example of a plane. We could call this play e plane M, uh, the M in the little corner over here, or you can name it by any three points contained in the plane. In this case, I uh, made points A, B, and C. So we could call it plane A, B, C, or B, C, A, C, B, A, any combination of these letters. Okay? Now, a plane, even though it looks like a, you know, a couple inch, a square that's only a couple inches big, this plane is supposed to extend in all directions infinitely. So if you imagine, like, in our classroom, the floor would be a plane, or a wall would be a plane, if the wall continued up and up forever and ever, okay? All right, collinear. Collinear points uh, basically make a straight line. Here we go. So in this case, A, B, C would be collinear points. D, E, F are not collinear points. Okay? Coplanar points are points that lie in the same plane. All right, so in this picture here, A, B, and C would all be coplanar points. But if I were to draw a point above the plane, like somewhere over here, oops, these four points would not be coplanar. Okay? All right, a defined term. A defined term is basically the opposite of an undefined term. It's a term that can be described using uh, known words, okay? All right, a line segment is basically a part of a line that consists of two points called endpoints, all right? And I'll draw a picture of what that, what that looks like. Okay, so this would be a line segment. Notice how unlike the line, which has arrowheads on each end, this doesn't go on infinitely in both directions. It ends. It has a, a give a certain length. Okay? And when you name it, with a line, when you name it, you have arrows over the name. So this would be line AB. When you name a segment, there are no arrows. Arrows. It's just a regular old line. Okay? Alright. Array. Array basically um, goes on forever in one direction. Okay? I'll write out the formal definition here. The ray AB consists of an endpoint A and all points on line AB that lie on the same side of A as B. So a ray would look something like this. It's a little bit crooked, but imagine this was a straight ray. Okay? Notice how when I name it, the arrow is over the B, which is where the arrow lies in the actual diagram. If the arrow was on this side, if it looked like here, if the arrow was going this way, this would be ray BA with the arrow over the A. In your notes, you don't have to draw both of those diagrams that I just drew. You can just pick one and draw that one. All right, opposite rays. I'll write the definition. And if point C lies on line AB between A and B, as shown, then ray CA and ray CB are opposite rays. So in this diagram, because C is in between A and B, ray CA and ray CB are opposite rays. Okay. Basically, if you have rays going opposite directions like this, they're opposite rays. The intersection, okay, intersection. Um, basically, if you have two figures that 
connect or touch or cross each other, that's called an intersection. The intersection of two or more geometric figures is the set of all points that the figures have in common. So this would be the intersection of two lines. Okay? You could also intersect planes, you could intersect a line and a plane, you could intersect almost anything. Okay? Alright, let's go on to page two. Okay, undefined terms. A point has no dimension. It is represented by a dot. Okay? A line has one dimension. It is represented by a line with two arrowheads but extends without end. Remember how I said it extends on forever? Through any two points there is exactly one line. You can use any two points on a line to name it. Okay? So like over here this could be line AB or line BA, or you could name it line L. A plane has two dimensions. It is represented by a shape that looks like a floor or a wall, but extends without end. This is kind of like what we said on the previous page. Through any three points, not on the same line, okay, so not collinear, there is exactly one plane. Any three points. You can use three points that are not on the same line to name that plane. We went over this before. So in this plane, we could call this plane ABC or CBA, or we could just call it plane M. All right, let's do an example. Okay, A says, give two other names for line LN. Give another name for plane Z. Other names for LN would be NL. Or you can call it line B. You could also call it line LM or line MN or NM or ML. Those would work too. Um, other names for plane Z, you could call it, let's see, LMP because all, all three of those points are in that plane. You could call it LNP, because all three of those points are in the plane, or PN, I'm sorry, MPN. Anything like that would work. All right, part B. Name three points that are collinear, name four points that are coplanar. Collinear means it makes a straight line. LMN, make a straight line. Okay. So they are collinear. Um, L, M, N, and P are all in the same plane, so that would make them coplanar. Okay, so that would make them coplanar. All right, now it's your turn. I'm not going to give you guys this answer. I would like you guys to pause the video here and try to do this one on your own. Okay? All right. Once you think you have your answer, just hit play, and we'll go on to page three. <laughs> All right, page three. Define terms, segments, and rays. Line AB, written like this, and points A and B are used here to define the terms below. Okay? Line segment AB or segment AB, written like this, consists of the endpoints A and B and all the points on line AB that are between A and B. So basically, from here to here and everything in between. Whoops. Yeah, a little better. Everything in between represents this segment. Okay? Uh, segment AB can also be named. B A. Ray A B, written as like this, consists of the endpoint A and all the points on A B that lie on the same side of A as B. Okay, so basically from here 
on and on forever in this direction, or in this case from here, on and on forever in this direction. Note that AB and BA are different rays. They're not the same ray. Okay? All right, example two. Give another name for VX. Okay. VX is this here. We could call it XV. The rays with endpoint W, there's actually four of them. There's WY, WZ, WX, and WV. Make sure you guys put your arrows in the correct place. Okay, the opposite rays with endpoint W would be WX and WV and WY and WZ. Okay? All right, checkpoint. I'm going to leave these ones for you guys to do. You can go ahead and pause the video here and try them, and then hit play when you're ready. Make sure you actually do these checkpoints, because I will be grading them. Okay, last page. <coughs> Example three, sketch a plane and a line that intersects the plane at more than one point. Okay, so let's see here. The only way for a line to intersect a plane at more than one point is for the line to actually lie inside that plane. Okay? Sketch a plane and a line that is in the plane. Sketch another line that intersects the line and the plane at a point. Alright. So this would be one way to draw it. The line intersects the line and the plane at this point here. Yep. Okay? Alright, example four. Sketch two planes that intersect in a line. Alright. Now, I don't expect you guys to be artists. Um, if it doesn't look great, don't worry about it. Um, this is one way you could draw this. Draw one plane as if you are facing it. So, I'm just going to draw a regular old rectangle. Okay. Draw a second plane that is horizontal. Or as horizontal as I can make it. Let's see here. Okay, and then use dashed lines to show where the plane is hidden. Draw the line of intersection. This is a T over here. There we go. And that would be right here. This is totally fine. If it doesn't even look this good, don't even worry about it. Okay? Alright. I'd like you guys to try these ones. Okay? And um, that's it for the notes today. I'll see you guys later.